Hi guys, Frost Fangs here. Welcome back once again to a, another Paladins video. This wasn't the video that I was intending to go out today. I was originally going to be making today's video a video where I react to my old videos because it's kind of the third anniversary for me making Paladins stuff. It's actually nearly, it's actually also just over the fourth anniversary that I've been making videos. It's now been a day since I recorded that video. Yesterday in the start of today, I was attempting to put together the video where I react to my old stuff and I somehow managed to mess up the audio recording to the point where I'm not really able to save the video so I've kind of had to scrap it. I'm a little bit upset with myself because it's completely my fault. I basically just messed up my recording. I didn't double check my stuff and I just went ahead and tried to do it and I ended up completely messing it up. I'd recorded about 45 minutes worth of stuff of me going back through my old stuff and that was a terrible explanation but basically I'd made the video, I went to put it together and I'd completely messed it up and what I could have done is I could have completely just forgotten about that and tried to redo it but then you would wouldn't have my genuine reactions and it would kind of feel a little bit fake so I just decided to scrap the video and maybe a couple months down the line we'll redo it we'll revisit some of my old stuff like either three six or nine months later down the line I'll try and do it again with different videos so I'm not reacting to the same ones and so that it's still genuine because I'd feel really silly if I just went ahead and tried to remake the video because it just wouldn't seem natural so I ended up scrapping it and we'll just be doing some other stuff today because there's two videos I could be making and I think I'm going to go for the first option which is the cold snap furious skin you had to watch the mixer stream for this. It was super buggy. There were a bunch of problems, but I did actually end up getting the skin in the end, and this is pretty damn cool. I haven't seen it in game yet at all. I've not seen anybody play with it. I've not seen any videos on it or anything. So that's what we're going to be doing today. The other thing that I might be doing soon is going back to the Road to Grandmasters stuff because I've actually been playing a little bit more of it. So season two for Road to Grandmasters will start soon enough. I've already talked about everything else. I think I wanted to talk about sadly having to scrap the video. One more thing, the channel membership thing. I want to thank you guys that went ahead and hit the join button for that. There wasn't a crazy amount of you because obviously it costs money so I don't expect you guys to do it but there were quite a few of you that did and I really do appreciate that and if you want to do the same there's a link in the description or you can just hit the join button to be a part of the channel membership thing you get a cool icon and a bunch of other stuff if you click the button you can see what you get for it let's just go ahead and grab Fury. we're doing siege fish market not the best map for it but definitely not the worst it still very clearly looks like Fury. I'm interested to see how different the weapon is I don't know how different her abilities are going to be I don't know if we're going to have like a blue heal on our right click or our blue heal on our cure if our weapon shots are going to be icy I don't know how much of a skin this is or if it's just more like a recall I I'm not sure this is genuinely going to be my first experience with this team wise we have a Strix we have a Willow a Sky and a Ruckus pretty decent team here double damage freaking flank and a tank anybody saying anything in the lobby oh you have cold snap fury lucky me okay I guess not everybody got it I don't know how many people ended up actually getting the cold snap fury skin I just left the mixer tab open on my other monitor and just let it play in the background and I ended up getting the chest and the Meave skin and the Furious skin. It's kind of sucky if everybody didn't get it, especially if you watched like the 20 hours you needed to watch or whatever it was. I think it was 14. We're going up against a Makoa, a Ceres, a Lex, a Tyra, and a Leon. Very similar. Two damage flanks on both sides, healer and tanks on both sides. Let's go ahead and grab Solar Blessing for loadout. I don't know if I should go for this one or this one. They're very, very similar. This one just gives me ammo instead of having the shield on the right click. It only gives 100, so I kind of prefer this one. I don't really feel like the shielding's going to help me that much against that team. Or maybe it will. Yeah, maybe well, let's just go ahead and go this one. So we've got Burning Oath, max level, gives us a shit ton of self-heal. Light Forge reduces the cooldown a ton, a little bit of extra range or area of effect, I suppose, on our Q. Light Adorn to give a bit of shielding and Incandescent Being to give us a little bit of extra health. Oh, wow, this weapon's way darker in-game than I thought it was going to be. I don't think the shots are that much different. No, there's not really any ice effects on it. It's just blue. I don't know what they're saying in the chat, but Ruckus just said it's a YouTuber. To me, they're all the same. Yeah, I'm just another dude, so it really isn't a big deal. There's no need to make a big deal out of it. What's the Q like? Oh, the Q is blue. Okay, I was hoping it would have a bit more iciness going on with it, but I'll take the fact that it's just blue. That's kind of cool. It means that this is probably going to be the skin that I use. My healing on that Ruckus was abysmal right there. There's another one on him. He's on like no health. Hit the beam, my guy. Walk into the beam. We got him. We got him. And we got first blood. Nice. I actually managed to save somebody and get a kill. I forget how much good damage Fury can do. Oh, I'm just going to leave that scenario real quick. Get my self heal going. I'm still dead. I mean, we got 42% of it, but it was kind of hard to get healing considering freaking Lian has death and taxes, which is no fun. Of course, when I try and make a freaking healing video, I go up against a Lian who has instant freaking max level quarter eyes. Of course that happens. It's just the freaking luck of me trying to make videos these days. Let's get a heal on her. There's not really any way I'm going to be able to jump on there for more than like a second, so there's no real point. Ruckus was out for like another three there, completely running over us right now. There, Lian is doing work. Makoa is doing work. All of them on their side, pretty much, other than maybe Ceres and Lex are doing a pretty decent job. We've all got ults other than 
the sky, so maybe we actually stand a chance at this. I don't really feel very hyped to play Fury right now, going against a, a Leanne with Death and Taxes. It just instantly takes a lot of the fun out of it for me, because I know that most of my healing efforts are going to be kind of countered pretty easily without much effort from the enemy team. There's a beam on the Willow. Yeah, not expecting to win this, expecting this to be a loss, and then we'll do a second game where hopefully we're not going up against the same sort of team, because that is really no fun for me to go against as Fury. I'm getting countered very, very heavily. There's a beam. Is that going to stop on anybody? Nope, it's just going to go straight through. We're doing okay. Like, we're not being completely stomped, but we're definitely not having an easy time. There's an enemy on left. Strix, go for it, fam. I believe in you. Hit that shot. Did we actually get rid of her? Yeah, this is GG. I'm kind of fine with that. We'll just classify this first game as an unlucky matchup. There's my beam going through. Yay, we stunned the Ceres. Although, not really, because the game's over. That was, that was rough, but we're not going to count that. We're going to just move on very, very swiftly to the second match. That's freaking sky remodel or whatever it is looks fantastic they did a great job specifically with like the metal pieces it looks great so what's this top lamb guessing it's an ult i don't know she tries to go invisible gets hooked out of it by koa gets some good damage on the koa what else is this gonna be goes ahead and gets a kill on the tyra sky seemingly was playing fine just dreading from that play there sky really wasn't doing that badly let's just check the stats i guess quickly let's just go over the stats real quick i only had 14k damage which really isn't all that much 31k healing which is okay uh, Sky probably played the best there. Actually played the best in that entire game. She had the most amount of damage. Willow did okay. Strix did okay. Ruckus did all right as well, I guess. Their Makoa did pretty okay. Their Ceres did pretty good. Their Tyra, their Leanne, and their Lex also did okay. Damage-wise, we actually didn't have that much less than them. Like, like if you looked at the stats there, it'd be kind of hard to tell just looking at the damage numbers because we had basically the same sort of thing. We just weren't really able to stay alive and they were just killing us a hell of a lot more. Their Makoa was super aggressive. Their, obviously, Obviously, Leanne was being super annoying to me. Lex, I didn't really notice that much. It was mainly just the Leanne and the Ko, if you ask me. Siege, Serpent, Meech. Another okay map. Her eyes are green, which I think is different to what they are in the normal skin. Or are they green here? I think they're brown. Oh, they're kind of yellowy. We have a Maeve. We have a Khan. We also have a Strix and a Bomb King. We're up against a Makoa, a Grover, a Grok, a Dammer, and a Kazi. Triple healer tank damage isn't something you see often. Let's see how our team deals with that. If everybody gets cauterized, this game should be pretty easy. Although Grok can do damage pretty easily, so can like spam Damba as well as Grover can kind of do damage. Grok and Mad Lamba can easily both go damage and then it'll just be like we're going against three damage characters. Let's go for it. Solar Blessings and the same loadout. I feel like this one works fine. Do I want to get Quarter Eyes or do I want to get Kronos? I feel like I should get Kronos because I'm the only healer we've got and I should really be focusing on healing. I'm just going to hope that these four guys pick up Court because then it shouldn't be too bad. I don't know what's going on with the lighting and the weapon here. For some reason, when you're in bright light, the weapon is really ridiculously light. I don't know if it's going to show in the video. It probably will, but oh my god, this weapon's pretty. Oh, right, hopefully this game goes a little bit better than that first one. Damba seems to be going for damage. He's going for spam. Damba Grok is also going for damage. So, they've basically got Grover as a healer and these two guys as damage. I kind of predicted that, actually. I said that those two can easily both go damage. It seems like that's their actual plan. Let's chuck a beam heal on him. Let's get a separate heal on my boy BK over here. I need to really try my best to get heals on everybody because or else this is going to be kind of rough. I don't really see Furia pick anywhere near as much as she used to be before she got nerfed so many times. I used to see it all the damn time. He's just gonna miss that by a little bit. Bit of a shame. Let's F back onto this platform and hit some damage trying to flank or something over there, which is a bit strange. Am I gonna try and get a beam through to him? I'm gonna try and get it through to him. There we go. He's still good. He's nice and full health. Hello, Grok. What's popping? Let's get a heal on that Strix, who's somehow still alive. I have no idea how he was chilling for so long on so little health there. If I can get top out of the four healers, I'll take that. Obviously, they're gonna, probably gonna have a bit of a harder time considering they're fighting for healing against each other but hopefully we can do all right there's heals on those two guys let's get some damage over there healing on the strix there's an ult from my gal cassie on the enemy team heal on bomb king there we go let's chuck a beam through to that can see if we can actually get that on him nope it's not gonna land on him i tried to throw it on him there but it went on the strix instead managed to successfully secure the bag okay do i want an ult here to push through do i even need to i feel like we've got enough momentum here i don't think i need to use my my ult here but i think we're good i feel like i should ult to help us get through this little area here i don't know if i even need to but i feel like i should i'm trying to my best to avoid damage from that grok because that's kind of annoying i'm gonna ult i'm gonna ult we don't even need to but i'm gonna ult that's a makoa ult i don't know if that's in as a counter to mine i got a heal on the khan right before i died to help him win that fight against makoa and also i dealt some damage obviously to the makoa there as well we're gonna get more chronos and then we're gonna get some quarter i'm gonna get chronos too and some court there's a heal on you there's a beam down there is it gonna land on anybody no we're gonna throw a right click on it i stunned somebody else oh my god she's still alive there's a thousand when there's no court it's really really easy to play fury but she's one of those characters
characters that has quite a lot of time in between her abilities. So Cauterize from like a Leon is just so easily going to get rid of whatever you try and do as a Furia. Hello, Grok. Let's finish him off. There we go. There's a heal on you. I want to try and chuck a beam on him as well because he's the person who I can heal really, really easily. I'm going to ult here just to help us survive and so that maybe we can push through. There goes Strix and gets a kill. Let's get rid of this Grover. Let's just chase him down. There we go. Let's just deal some damage to Damba. Chuck a beam heal through to Bomb King that actually landed. Quite proud of myself there. Tried to heal the Strix but Khan had already got him up to full health. Heal on the Meave. Oh my god, this is hectic right now. I'm trying to go for the push. Throw out all my heals on as many people as I can. I'm actually landing them kind of decently here. Let's get some more damage through there. Heal on the Khan. Let's stun that Makoa. Don't even really need to. Can we get a stun on anybody else? Yeah, we stunned the Grover too. I think we got it. I think we got it. I don't think they're going to be able to defend this. There's another heal. There's some damage on you. Oh my god, how do we have enough Cauterize to deal with a Grover? I don't know how we have enough Caught there to stop that Makoa from surviving. We have a tier 2 and a tier 2. Yeah, I guess that's enough. I don't feel like I wasted my ult last round. I feel like it made sense. I don't know if we would have actually made that push without the ult. There's some healing on the team. My god, this is mental right now. Heal on you, maybe? Oh, just about. He's still alive. Beam heal. Oh, I was too slow. Oh no, I failed so hard there. I was too slow with the beam heal. I nearly, nearly kept him alive, but I, I messed up. I tried to throw a heal on the Bomb King before I went out. I think that Makoa just got a triple. That was a really rough set of plays there. I don't know why we didn't use more ults. I wonder why Bomb King didn't use it or Strix didn't use it. I'm not really sure. I have mine in a second. Let's just move through here. Chuck a heal on the Khan or not because I missed. He's ulting. I didn't even hear the sound effect for that, but I guess he was. Heal on the Maeve. There we go. Are we ulting? Sure. I feel like I can hit everybody from here. Hopefully I could hit everybody there. There's a beam heal. There's a normal heal. Let's go for it. I feel like we got this. Let's go for the push. There's another heal. Let's get rid of this Grok. He's gone. He's gone. What was that Bomb King play? I don't really know what he was going for there. He waited for way too long. He got rid of the Grok either way, though. I think we got this. Yeah, we got this cat. We managed to somehow recover. I really thought we were going to lose there because of that recovery mechanic, but it looks like we're able to hold on to it. I'm going to need some help on the point, though. Can I hit anybody with the beam? Sadly not. Oh, it did stop, but I think it was because the Bomb King was being pulled. There's a heal on Strix. That's a Makoa ult. That's a Grover ult. Let's F back this way and maybe try and survive from that Cassie. There's a beam heal. I'm still up. I don't know how I'm still up. I feel like I've been talking for an hour and I'm still alive. I think we got it. I think we have it. I think we have this. Can we just step on it? There we go. Nice. Beam heal on the Maeve. There we go. They're standing still and expecting the beam, which the other team weren't doing last match, which makes my life a lot easier. Are we going to chase down this Maldamba? Are we going to chase him down? Oh, he's one hit off. Let's throw a beam through. Throw a beam through. Is that going to work? I don't think that's going to work. It was worth a shot, though. Oh, we actually hit him. He's just over there. I didn't even expect that to work. I'm getting caught tier two and also some Haven just to help me deal with the Cassie and the Grover who are kind of messing me up as well as Makara tiny bit. Let's chuck a beam through there. Is that going to hit anybody? There we go. I feel like people are actually stopping for the beam, which is great. When you have teammates that do that, it makes your life so much easier as a Fury when they actually expect a heal, which is what is good about this is that they're actually kind of ready for it. Don't know what that play was. That was rather strange. Nearly hit the Cassie there. Am I ulting? I don't even know if that was worth it. I feel like yeah, I should have done just to help get rid of the last two people alive. But I feel like that might have been a waste. I feel like that, that was a that was a questionable ult. That was questionable. Can we get rid of anybody? Oh, Strix, you're too far away. I can't heal you. I would have been able to before Fury got nerfed. But sadly, her range isn't good enough for me to get a heal on him from that range. Are we going to make a push here and make this 4-0? Let's chuck a beam heal to her. That missed, but we managed to hit it with the right click. Bomb King is going in far on the enemy team. we got a 300 heal on him, which isn't all that much. The freaking Makoa's up there trying to output some damage. There's a heal on on the Khan. I don't think the Dammer can actually like win a fight with me because of the fact that I have so much self heal. I actually don't think he can. Oh, maybe he can. Oh, he can if he ults me. Why Why did he just ult? What was that play? Why did Why did Dammer just ult? What? I don't know if it's just me, but that was a really weird play from Dammer. We weren't going to be able to trigger overtime because me and Strix were both too far away and the timer was literally like half away down and he still decided to hit E to kill me there. Don't really know why we've got basically four ults. We have Strix, we have Meave and then Khan's nearly got it and I've nearly got it so we might be able to make this 4-1 and hopefully we can have a second game that goes better and goes the way most Furia games go unless you're up against Talian. I feel like everybody always goes right on this map. I don't know why. You don't really see like team fights happen on left. It always seems to happen on right. I guess it's because it's more open. How the hell am I in range there? Hold up. What? I feel like I was miles away. Or maybe I was actually quite close. I didn't realize. I feel like I was way, way further away than when you're usually able to be hooked by a Makoa. That was a little bit strange. Seems like it doesn't matter though because I was able to distract them long enough 
even. We're actually still winning this. I don't know how, but maybe it's because me vaulted. Did me vault? I don't even know if Maeve had an ult. I think she did. Strix has still got it. I've still got it. My boy Khan has still got it. There's not much of a chance of them really doing much here. Do I want to ult to try and help them run away? That was uh, a bad play, although it actually seems like a Bomb King is still up. I don't know what I tried to do with the Q there. He's ulting. I think, yeah, he's ulting. He's going in. Is he going to get anybody with it? Yeah, he got rid of him. Let's kill this damn but thank you for the free kill, Khan. I appreciate it. Bit of a weird ult, but sure. I mean, we got rid of the Maldam when he's kind of annoying. He's not a high priority target, but we got rid of him. 93%, 96%. There's a Makoa. Let's just dash backwards, and it's game. His feet are technically on the objective there, but we got to win. No, second match went way better than the first one. I kind of feel happy that we had a little bit of a recovery there because the start of this video was a little bit rough, and we managed to recover it a bit. Neptune the Blue. I like the name. Got top play. So he goes down. He gets rid of Grover. He also seemingly gets rid of my boy Makoa. Also, I'm guessing gets rid of the, the dam. But that was one hell of a play, though. Oh, I love that. That was great. That was a, a bounce with the F to help recover. And then got behind a rock and, and threw two over. That was one hell of a recovery towards the end of that play there. Nice. And indeed, we did have the most amount of healing. That's all I wanted. I wanted to have more than the three healers they had on their team. I wanted to top it. I wanted to be the top of the four healers. And I was by a lot, actually. Obviously, Damba and Grover were going damage, so they weren't going to have much healing, but Grover was. He was going for as much healing as he could get, and if you actually add up all of the healing in that game, I still had more than everyone else put together. Khan has 11k. Khan has 11k. You add on 85k from Grover, that's 96. You add on 13 from my boy Maldama, and that's 109. You add on top of the 8k, so then you have 117, and I guess if you add up all the little numbers towards the end there, then I actually still have more than everybody else put together. I'll freaking take that. If my maths were wrong, I'm going to look like an idiot, but I'm not going to bother checking it mid-video because there's not really any point. It's not that important. So let's go over the rest of the stats. My boy Khan, 54k damage, 25k shielding, 11k healing. Not bad at all. I only had 41k damage, which actually isn't that bad. Still did more than Damba, who was going damage somehow, but I had second bottom, so it's not great. Maeve did fine. Strix did fine. Bomb King stands out a bit there because he's the only person over 100k, so shoutouts to him. I'd say me and Bomb King did really, really well there to the point where Bomb King probably won us that game, and I kind of helped a little bit. At least there, Makoa did well. That might have been the same occur from the last game, but I, I don't think it is. He did pretty decently. Had top damage on their side other than Grok. Grok did fine. Damba, bit of a weak link. Cassie didn't perform as well as she could have done, and Grover actually did better than I thought he was going to do. He has a lot of damage and actually a decent amount of healing too, so he did better than both of these two guys, in my opinion. That was the new Cold Snap Furious skin. Very much like this one. I love the color palette they used. It obviously, you know, suits the aesthetic that I kind of like, because my name's Frost Fangs. I hope you have enjoyed watching today's video. Let me know what you want to see me do next. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. I'll probably be doing ranked tomorrow, and then maybe we'll revisit the looking back at the channel in a little in a little while, just because, like I said, I ended up messing up this attempt at making a video like that, and I want to keep it as genuine as possible. So I'll see you guys all very, very soon. And as always, stay frosty.